Today, I'm gonna to show you how to send your fill out forms by email and also track who's filled it out so far and their progress on it as well. I have a holiday work party RCP form here that I want to send to all of my coworkers. I have a few questions asking if they can come or not, how many guests they're bringing, and I want to send this out to that list of emails that I already know from my organization. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to create your form publish it, which I have done so far, and then head to the share tab. At the bottom, you'll notice the send form option. So I can head to send form, and I've previously sent to a few emails, so I'll just go ahead and select those, but you can enter new emails and enter as many as you'd like. And then you can go ahead and adjust the subject and the message, but I'll keep it the same for now. And let's hit send form. Cool, so this was sent to two people. If we head to the history tab, we'll notice that we have two emails that we've sent and neither of them have been started yet, which is accurate. Nobody's filled this out yet. If I head to my email now, I should notice an email was sent to me with that invitation, which it was. This email that gets sent is automatically based on the theme that you've set for your form. And it also inherits any logos you've set, so you can brand it however you'd like. And if I hit complete form, we'll notice that it opens up that form that I uh, built out previously. I'll go ahead and answer a few questions and say that I am able to attend. And something that's really cool here is because this was sent through the send form option on the share tab, each user gets a unique link that gets sent to their email that's specifically tied to them. So if I go ahead and open up the link from the email again, if I click this complete form link, we'll notice that it gets pre-filled to the answers that I've already filled out. So I said previously that I had eight guests coming and I was able to attend. And I can fill that out from any device because the link is going to be the same in that email always. If I head back to fill out again, if I refresh the results here, I can also notice that my submission is in progress. I can view that submission so far on the results tab. And we can also just go ahead and complete this. So I'm just gonna say, I, I don't have any food allergies. I don't need help arriving and go ahead and submit that. So if I refresh here again, we'll notice that it is finished and the other email that we sent to has not started yet. So if we'd like, we can follow up with them uh, we can send automatic reminders to them to fill it out if they haven't so far. So a lot of cool stuff you can do here. If we go ahead and click on this view response button here, we can also view the contents of their full submission as well. So we can see exactly who submit, what type of information and what email it was tied to. Another really cool workflow that I wanna show you is that you can add sending fill out forms to part of your Zapier workflows. So let's say that I track subscriptions to my service through Stripe. And I wanna send somebody an email with a form every single time that they cancel their subscriptions so that I can ask for some more follow-up details like why they canceled and what we could have done better. So in this case, I'll pick the canceled subscription option here for Stripe as the trigger. And then I can send a fill out form. I've already set this up here to show you an example of what that might look like. So I'm sending a form in fill out forms when uh, a customer has canceled up subscription in Stripe and I can customize the subject and the message here and it will be of the same type of format that automatically inherits your theme um, that we saw in the previous email. So that's pretty much it. You can definitely level up your workflows here with sending fill out forms and I'm excited to see what you build.